Hi, I'm Bill, and I wanted to comment on a response video put out recently by Swedish YouTube celebrity PewDiePie. That video is a response to a breaking scandal where two years ago he and other YouTubers were paid by Warner Brothers to do positive videos on their game Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. I wanted to touch on it because I feel it's an interesting example of a new media personality dealing in shady old school media tactics like taking money for favors and then fumbling and stumbling about it when caught. PewDiePie does a lot of dancing around the issue in his video, and displays a lot of bravado and arrogance, but gives no real mea culpa. He does admit that the disclaimer he provided was below the fold, but that's about the extent of his admission of guilt. I mean, his tiny little text presented in a part of the description that does not display when people actually load the video, really enough of a disclaimer that the video is sponsored by the company that made the game in question? That little line that indicates the video is sponsored is presented right under the part of the description that shows up when the video is loaded. It's placed as high as you can in the description and still not have it appear immediately to viewers. PewDiePie also says his video on Shadow of Mordor isn't a review. This is ridiculous when you consider the powerful place Let's Plays have taken when it comes to promoting video games. They have become the reviews of today. Why? Because they are an organic display of a person's enthusiastic enjoyment of a game. At least they are when the player is actively enjoying playing them. Did PewDiePie manufacture his enjoyment of Shadow of Mordor for the benefit of Warner Brothers? He made a lot of excuses in his response video, but he never denied that he was forcing his enjoyment of the game, so all we know for sure is that yes, he was paid to play the game. And when you accept money to make a video for Warner Brothers, does it behoove you to show a lot of enthusiasm while playing, and edit the video to show the most exciting parts of the game and ignore the bad bits? Oh ho ho! Oh ho ho! Goodbye! Oh ho ho! I'm a boss! Oh! Not today, sir! Haha! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Yes! We did it! Oh my god! That was so hard! <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Alright, these are awesome, bros. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Oh! It worked! It worked! Oh my god! Yeah! Yay! Woo! <laughs> Listen, PewDiePie, let me give you some advice. You know that Let's Plays are what people use these days to determine the games they're going to buy, so you're denying the term reviewer means nothing. You're the most popular YouTuber around. We know you're not an idiot. You're misleading the people for a reason, and that's to get paid. A popular YouTuber holding up the traditional models of a product review and then throwing up your hands and saying, Hey! I didn't do that. Ridiculous. You willingly misled people, and there's no amount of arrogantly dancing around that's going to change that. I understand you're in a hard spot. You've built a name on putting out authentic, enthusiastic Let's Play videos, and you want to parlay your massive user base into cold, hard cash. My advice is to try to be a little bit more subtle in your methods.